Hello and welcome. I hope you guys and girls are well and enjoying your day. What are you up to? And you join me here on American Truck Simulator. I hope you guys and girls are well. And today I'm showing you this, which is the Smithy's Peer Built 350. Um, details are both good on the outside, as you see the drive under here drive crawl under here um, and the outside is very good um, I've got a relatively short run on hopefully I'll show you the run I've got I may or may not complete this run it should be achievable but as this is a mod showcase it's going to take me a bit while to go through the usual spiel which is of course I'll leave links down below for you guys and girls to have a look at this mod this mod is actually available on the Steam Workshop. Yes, you heard me right, it's available on the Steam Workshop. But again, I will still leave the link down for said link for said mod down below. Once you do decide to download this mod, you download this mod at your own risk. So I would suggest playing about with it on a dummy account before putting it onto your main account, because any mod not just this mod, could potentially have consequences on your account. So do bear that in mind before playing with mod or said mods. And now that spill is out the way, um, I'll show you where you can find it. Uh, so if we go to truck dealers, take me to your dealer, you should be able to find it, I believe, in the Peterbilt shop pretty sure you can so there you go you can find it here and you can also find it in the mod authorized access dealer uh, let's go to customized configuration again this is a boring bit some people would call it some people would call it the informative bit let me know in the comments down below uh, but anyway I'll go through them as quick as I can so you start off with a day cab day cab I don't know what the difference is between the two there. Old badge. There we go. I've just discovered it. You've got two badges there. Then you have the day cab. It's going to warn me. Yeah. You have the, well, I say day cab. It's a day cab with an extended sleeper on it. Um, again, different color sleeper. Slightly different colour sleeper. I guess the sleeper sizes change as we go down the route. Yeah, looking at the sleepers, they are is though it's uh, dates and maybe yeah, the date is slightly different. So obviously yeah, the spec would be different. So there's all your different cab options. Axle configurations or chassis configurations. You have six before six before slightly longer six before stubby short i don't know what the difference between that okay looking at that closely there's a slight difference in the chassis that looks slightly more raised than that one so i'm not saying this is a thing i'm get might be confusing this for another mod which i played with the other day which was awful and it didn't even work with its own trailers that's why i didn't bother showing you guys and girls um i'm only assuming this is the case i haven't tried it yet um maybe that chassis is slightly higher so you might struggle getting that under stock trailers don't quote me on that it might be perfectly fine uh just that's what i'm reading into this because that looks like that and that looks like that it might be nothing to do with that it might just be the chassis configurations each chassis might have slightly different options on it. Again, you may want to have a player that 
I haven't played with it all, I'll be honest. Uh, I've just breezed through it as quick as I can as I'm trying to get through this. Anyway, engine configurations. They are all generic, his own mods, or his own engines. Um, there is slight differences between each and every engine, but it's marginal. Um, they they all fairly sound fairly similar. There are slight differences though, so I will say that that is the case. Gearboxes. There isn't a great selection as far as you can go. This is 13 speed as high as you can go. Is uh, there's no 18 speeds on here. Now I don't know if that's because he's trying to say authentic to the year of the make of this truck. Or and or what spec was available to this truck at the time. Again, I wouldn't know. I'm not a Peterbilt or Kenworth expert. I don't, and I don't know how. I know in the early years they both used pretty much the same sort of cab situations. Um, just there were slight differences between the one and the other. But I digress. I'm waffling on. As you can see, you can start from 10 speed and you can work your way up to 18 speed. Sorry, up to 13 speed, which is my lucky number. But there's a caveat to that, and I'll go into that later. Um, on the inside, as you can see, the details are actually quite good. And I'll cover that in again in a minute. Um, there is only two cab types. This light one, and then there's dark brown. It's a shame. But detail, it's okay. Litz needs a bit more polish. It does look a bit basic, but maybe again, that's how they were. Um, this here, that's cool. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, that's a nice touch on the modder, actually. Um, but anyway, I digress. Color options. You get all the standards. He has included this one. I don't know if that's part of that one. Might be part of it as well. I think that's just the generic ones, maybe. No, that might be part of it as well. Yeah, so it's these three here. Is it, or maybe that for these ones here as well, sorry. Yeah, they're part of it as well. They seem to work with it. So, then you've got the custom, and then you can customize metallic. Or just select a standard color. Go into options, here we go. So, this reminds me a lot of the uh, Kenworth, actually, the 521. When I first saw this, I thought, is this a stolen mod? And he's just uh, tweaked it. I, I don't know. I'm not saying he has or he hasn't. It just, I'm not saying anything, but it looks very similar to the Kenny. But they should look similar because they were built around the same time. So, I'm not saying he has stolen it. I'm not saying he hasn't stolen it. But again, I'm breezing through the options of the uh, the bumper there. You need a bottom one. You've only just got the oversized load, which you can stick on. Next one, you can change the grill types. Well, not grill, sorry. The bumper bar or bull bars, people call them. You can have that or that. We can have that. Next one is around the grill, the top end. You can either have that as that, 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 that. that. And that's all she wrote. I'll go to the side dots here. This is quite funky. I like the light situation. It's hard to see them from this angle. So I'll try and wind in and then click on them. But as you can see, it changes both the front and the back. Again. Let you choose what you want to choose. There isn't a double light option. I don't believe these were made with double lights back then. But 
I could be wrong. Uh, this goes up to the next one. It is the front badge. You can have either either. That one here changes the bonnet straps. So you can have them painted, standard, or chrome fitting ones. Again, pretty cool. I like the fact he's put that detail in. Uh, wheel configurations, it does actually sort of, if you do have the blueprint mods, it will, the wheels will fit under there. It looks a bit on the tight side. If I demonstrate that now, just stick the, stick that on, just for demonstration. It will, they, if you do have that mod, it will, uh, it will go under there. It will raise the truck up a bit, by the looks of it. And it's very close, so you might find that slight clipping. I've not tried it myself. Again, if you, I'm just saying that is an option if you do have the mod, like me. Um, down here along the side, you have the uh, different combination of air boxes or air filters, or air intakes, however you want to take, want to pronounce them. Again, a nice selection there, and it's slightly different on the next side. You've got a large one on the outside. And then that one on that side. And if you click on that one, you get the same results. If we can now click further in a bit to there, you can actually, oh, I didn't realise that until now, you can actually change the window surrounds to them. If I'd known that, I'd have changed mine to Chrome. I didn't even clock that. I thought that was an inside thing. But never mind. Worth knowing. So you've got that option. You can have that paint frameless or that next one slightly up refers to the the sun visor again personal preference you can either look through a letter box or you don't have to next one above that goes to the marker lights so you can have two, again, they're trying to get you the right view on them. They're all the same type, they're just slightly different colours and spacing. So again, you can choose however you want to choose. The next one on for that is the horn configuration. You can either have one horn painted, where's it go? Oh, it's on the sides. There you go. One horn painted on the side, not both. Two horns on the top. One horn on the side, chrome. Two horns on top, although two horns on top, covered. Uh, and this one on here is the light as the beacon. It makes it look a bit like a police car. Or, but I, I quite like that. It gives it a rustic look. And the mirrors, again, get a nice selection there. It's a shame there isn't one with a small round mirror. Maybe that's something he can work on in the next update. Uh, then you've got selection of different handles there. Don't know if you can see them. Down below that, you have the foot plates. You can change them, customize them again to your heart's content. Tanks, you've got a selection of different fuel tanks here. And they are sp do space them out differently, so bear that in mind. Just below that, or well, next to that, you've got the wheel covers or wheel arches or whatever you want to call them. Above that is the exhaust. This is another little thing. It's again, it's a nitpick. Um, not much criticizing it. Uh, it's just something which, again, I hope the mod is listening and hope he can bring in. But I only see options for single exhaust here. You do have a selection of single exhaust here. Brilliant selection of single exhaust. It's a shame there isn't a selection of double exhausts. That I'd like to see. Oh. <laughs> Forgive me. There, there. <laughs> Unless this is updated. When I tried this last night or the other night, I couldn't see that option ignore me then 
Please ignore me, peeps. There is options there for double exhausts. Not very many, but there is options there for double exhaust. Maybe, again, maybe the modder can give you as many double exhaust modules, uh, double exhaust options as there are single exhaust mod, uh, options. Let me just try something. Let me try that. Uh, actually, try something else. I think basically how they change is it changes the angle of the dangle and then it either puts a shield around it. Let's try... No, they, they, they probably look the same. Yeah. No, it's just those two. So, I was wrong. I admit it. Right, so that's that done. That's that done. That's that done. Now on the back, you've got selection here of, um, what's it, why is it telling me that? Okay. Uh, I wonder if that's the twi the act, um, where we had sort of like saw the two different types of um, chassis coming into play. I don't know, or it's just removed that part. I'm just guessing. But you've got a fair selection there. I'll just say, I'll quickly rip through them all. Like so. And that more or less concludes all that. Interior options. Now, I've already seen he's done uh, an add-on for this mod. Where you can actually incorporate your um, in-game wheels with this now. Which is good. Um, beforehand, before he's done that. Maybe that's why there's been an update on this. Maybe there wasn't those twin exhausts when I first played on this. Um, but anyway, I digress. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. So you've got only the two wheels unless you add the other mod. I will endeavour to include both the mods together. Uh, so then it makes it easier for you. But uh, I may forget. So do forgive me in advance if I do. Uh, I waffle on. Uh, there you can stick the GPS. That doesn't refer to anything. You can select some little bits and pieces here. So you can have... It does look like it does work with some of the DLC as well. But not the... Um, some of the mods. Forget the name. But then you got up here you've got... All the standard danglies. I think there's even a radio on here as well if memory serves me right. Is there a radio on here? I could be wrong. I'm wrong. Okay. I thought there was a radio. There is not. Right. Uh, you can select a couple for that seat as well. And that concludes it. Uh, I think that concludes all the buttons and everything we need, all the little dots. If I have missed something, then forgive me in advance. But I'm trying to breeze through it as quick as I can. Right. Now, I'll go quiet for the engine startup, although I know I've got the chiller units running. And you can just about hear them. Um, they're not so loud that they're going to interfere with the engine test. Oops. What's going on? Why me? Right. There we go. Now, do that. Go back outside. Fires the engine up. Oh, 
What are you doing, game? It's having a panic attack. That's what it's doing. Sorry, peeps. Because I don't want to cut this out and do this again. There we go. Didn't hold the starter on long enough. Off back inside the cab. Engine back off. Now, as you see that up there, so I'm, I was saying that, do you see this? The low air. You see it move? Yeah, it wasn't your imagination. It does move. And it doesn't just move when you turn the engine on, uh, engine on or off. Let me drain the brakes down a bit. I won't drain them all the way empty. I'll just drain them to the point when it starts to dip. I might have to drain them all the way down. Oh, I didn't have the ignition on. Right. Hmm, that's weird. Now, that was working the other day. Oh, it is working. Right. Let me just charge the engine back up. See when I actually cut out. Ignore me, peeps. It's working because I've turned the engine on and it's still down. Still got my sip, my light telling me it's low air. Emergency's off now, but still low air. So I suspect once the low air kicks in, that sign will drop. Once low air goes, the sign will kick back up again. This is how I got it to work the other day. There we go. And as the air builds up, watch it slowly climb. It's still saying low air. And it's still warning me, this low air, as you guys and girls can see. Look, the little... That's moving. And it's building up. And then it goes out. And once it goes out, the pressure builds up. And then it goes up again. Let me just quickly do that. And then you see it pops down again. Which is cool. Now they did... that. Now that was a thing that used to happen because it used to happen on the route masters over here as well. They used to have a little, and the buses, all the buses had it. They had like a, a little lever that would come up out of the out of the dashboard to let them know they were low air. Because it was back before the days they had glorified, um, glorified uh, buzzers and everything. Right, Let's put her in first. Let's engage the trailer brake is holding even though the air is low. Yep. Now how do we get out of the yard out here, I believe? Like I said, the detail for this is pretty good. As you can see, the, the all the dials do work. The O-monitor, or O-monitor, doesn't work. The switches, they all work. If I, in fact, oops, if I switch on the lights, 
you'll see them all come on like that and then if I activate the Jake you see that works as well and the when you pull the parking brake that activates that and then when you pull the main brakes it brings out the, the, the trailer brake and the parking brake I can't see let me see if I can see if I can see the pedals I think it's moving well that's my imagination I'll let you be the judges of that 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 is good touches by the modder you know that's sort of top draw sort of extra detail which I kind of like I need to pull weight out for that double and because I've come at a silly angle I'm gonna have to make a right pick zero of this As for floating, I don't know yet because this is the first time I've driven it in manual. It's actually not too bad. To float. You wouldn't know if I'm in manual or not, or not but. We well, would because I'm revving the nuts out of it, but. I need to be in that other lane. Get back. Wrong gear. Right. Engine brake off. Brake on. The little details like with the brake sounds. I don't know if that's him or if that's just the real sounds making those no extra noises, but it's pretty cool because when you just activate both if you just pull on if you just had put the parking brake on it gives you the sound of both parking brake and the trailer brake locking at the same time which is pretty cool yeah she isn't too bad to shift she feels very similar to the Kenny it's a little bit more forgiving than the Kenny but very very similar uh, rev range you have to get spot on to float and through downshifting I'm still having problems with so I couldn't tell you if that's easy or not I've still not perfected the downshifting down floating I should say give me the gear no come on give me the gear no you won't give me the gear I want there we go I had to force that in. Might be because I lost quite a momentum there and I probably shifted a bit too early. Well over. I'll get a thimble in as soon as we get some light. If I don't, then I'll have to do another thimble. Didn't let off the accelerator there, so I, that was my shift, but it did shift. That's my bad shift, didn't it? I 
And now I've realised that we're out top. There is no more gears. Get to see a train, peeps. Comes. It's a short train today. Oh, and I've stalled. Probably should start off in low low if this has one. She does climb up through that one and a half thousand range quite quickly. I could probably n skip some of these, judging by that rev range, but it would just be a guess. That is, like I was saying earlier, there's one caveat to this, and the only thing I can pick on this that wouldn't say is necessarily a deal breaker, but it is a factor that there isn't for uh, well, there isn't an 18-speed box, and this thing needs an 18-speed box. It's got the tail, it's got the power in the engine, especially if you've got the top engines. If if you use the lower engines, it probably wouldn't matter too much, but because this upper engine does have the power for it, you find yourself top. Ooh, give me that gear. Give me the gear. me again <coughs> but it does need that 13 speed box see now I'm actually out of gears and I can probably take this a bit quicker than this once you get up to 50 you get I think the max speed on this is 60 which is probably historically accurate to be fair on the modder I, I get the feeling that the modder is trying to make this as historically accurate as he can. See, I'm, I'm naturally wanting to go up to the next gear, but I can't because I'm out of gears. See, if I try... Now, I tried to clutch that, but no, nope, there's no more gears now. That is as high as we can go. And I've got this on 13 speed setup. Let's get a thimble in if I can. Let's wait till we get round the corner first. Try and find my keyboard. There, right. Let's get the photo for the thimble. Yeah, that is the only gripe I have about this mod. Other than that, I would drive it again. I wouldn't add it to my fleet because obviously it's a mod and you get issues later on down the line. But I would drive it again. Let me try and get down that one. Oh. There we go. Uh, I wasn't ready.
Now, have you taken me out of gear? You have taken me out of gear. Okay. Yeah, that is my only gripe with this this truck. The rest of it is very good. Even the Jake's not too bad. It has. You can adjust the level. There isn't a level adjust. Obviously, there's no retarder, so. See if there's a low load. There is a low load to this. Yeah, she sets off a lot easier than that. Oh, and she does skip quite easily. Actually, she just skip from high to too high. Sorry, from one high to too high. Very easy there, without no real grumbling. Change on the level of crossing. Turn right. These lights changing. They are. You probably wouldn't need to use low low on a conventional trailer because I'm pulling doubles. She's just she's just struggling on the lower gears. Once you get her uh, up and running, she more or less happily changes for whatever. Apart from that shift, that's a terrible shift. You're not going to give me the gear. Go straight on. I am running out of road. I can't see the traffic lights either. If SCS, you're watching, please put the uh, screen. And I've stalled it. Putting to low low again. Let's try an external view for you guys. So you can get in. There you go. Apart from my, because I'm snapping the throttle rather than throttling the throttle. Yeah. Uh, other than that, she sounds pretty good. To say the engines do sound similar. There are subtle differences between them. Again, my natural instinct is to change up, but I couldn't because no more gears left. That is the downside. Now we're up, getting up towards 60. We're out of gears. She's got power for more. She's just, just out of gears. So you're going to find yourself, especially when you're on a long flat, you're going to find yourself wishing you had an 18-speed box. Because you're really revving the nuts out of it and you're not getting anywhere. Not too bad long here because the traffic's sort of like 
isn't going that quick. because otherwise my knee will start to kill me. Let's take the Jake off as well. Oh, I just got comfy as well. We all knew that was going to happen. Need to make over to the other side, peeps. You're going to need to let me in. Um, can't. Uh, right, now I can get comfy because that light's going to probably stay there for a while. There is another little thing with reference to the engine. I don't know if you guys and girls can pick it up with my music and that. And me waffling on. But the engine has a bit of a reverb thing going on. There's like a little ding, ding, ding. Let's see if I can get it in the next set of lights if we can stop. If we have to stop. Looks like we might have to. It all depends. I, oh yeah, I need to be lit. Turning left here. Turn left. That's green. Green means go. I'm taking that biscuit. I'm taking that biscuit while I can. Get ready to turn right. I'll stop at this right next because it's a stop sign and turn I'll demonstrate right. it. You might not hear it so much with the music on. Hear that dong, 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 dong. That, if you're not listening to music, will drive you nuts. Well, it drove me nuts anyway. Just me being a bit, again, nitpicky. It's, again, it's, you do get that in real engines. There's a, like a little reverb on it, which over time just slow you slowly drive you nuts but it's just more noticeable on this I'll right. stay out here because I need to be turn turning right. in there in a minute You're not going to give me the gear are you no, I'm going to have to clutch it in. It was a bit too premature on that downshift, to be fair. I'll try and get over as soon as I can. Because that double back end is going to be a factor. Again, try and take it nice and wide without smashing the front off of it or the side off it. Hope those trailers straighten up in time. That's good enough for government work. That'll do me. I know it's not straight. Again, content and all that good stuff. 
<coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Detach. Yes. My cough is slowly going, but it's just lingering for a long time. Still get phlegmy back. Nose still blocked up. But anyway, that's just me moaning. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed it. Thank you again for spending your time watching this. Um, if you did enjoy it, again, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, for any reason, any reason at all, please f feel free to give it a thumbs down. Either way, please feel free or please leave comments down below. Um, so then I'm aware and I can try and improve in future videos. If you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, guys and girls, please feel free to share, and I don't mind you sharing. And if you're new to my channel, receive future episodes of this, or anything else I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell, so you're aware as soon as I upload a new video. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.